Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that if you're returning. How you doing? What we're going to be talking about right now is what people are seeing and experiencing in everyday life when it comes to being of a prepared mind. And I get sent pictures and videos and emails and links. And if there's anything that you would like to send me for a video, my email is in the description box below. So this first picture comes in from a community member and it is just funnier than all hell. So, know your parasites, huh? Gotcha. Okay, so here is an email from a community member, and she sent in quite a few links that will be in the description box below, as well as some pictures, okay? And what I'm going to tell you about the pictures is I want you to pause and read, okay? That's all I'm going to say. So her email reads like this. How are you and the family doing? They're doing okay. Thank you. They're doing all right. I have some pictures that I'm going to be putting up um, for you guys as like a pantry update. Okay. Um, she said, how's the roof situation going? Well, <sighs> the roof situation is going. Um, we're still waiting to hear back from the lawyer. Um, they are suing the, not just the home builder, but also the insurance company. And we heard from them like five days ago, and they are giving them 10 days to respond. So we have five more days to wait. I'm pretty sure that doesn't include weekends or holidays. And so we'll see from there. But as soon as I get an update, you guys will hear from me. So she says, you're in my prayers. I hope it's getting better. Well, <laughs> I only hope that it gets better because honestly, with hurricane season coming up, you know, yeah. She said, I think I found something that answers a lot of questions of why things are going wrong. I have been going deeper down the rabbit hole. Oh, dear Lord, girl, how many times have I have to tell you to stay out of those damn rabbit holes? <laughs> There's no carrots down there. Stop it. She said, um, but this time it came to me from a neighbor. I have been awake for years now, as you know, and filled with questions I need answers to, like most of the community, and have been called nuts for years. Well, we're all nuts in our own special way. Yeah. She said, but like most of us have. So it's funny to me getting a video from a person who I thought was nuts years ago, but has awoken. It's a weird feeling being a conspiracy theorist and actually watching haters become one. <laughs> My neighbors sent the first video because the man tells you how you can legally not pay income taxes. But boy, he has a bombshell for anyone watching. Really? Okay. I have been wondering for years why no one is following the Constitution or police protect companies and stores more than the average citizens. Why we pay taxes and how can corporations have so much power? Why voting really isn't happening with new laws that are changing? Why Congress and the Senate are so old and don't have younger men? And I've often wondered that myself. You've got 90-year-olds telling us what to do when, you know, we should have you know, people our age in there. You know what I mean? In 40s, 50s in there. And it's like, wait a minute. <laughs> you, you've got one foot in and one foot dragging. You know what I mean? Come on, man. You know? Why are we not considered in any decisions or being told anything? Because, man, they, 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 because it's not going to benefit us, but only benefit them. That's why. I mean, you know, why the Pentagon and the bankers run everything? Well, the man said it in this video, and we have been in martial law for 91 years. 91 years flip-flopping. Serious? Since March 9th, 1933, you are right. They consider us property. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, that's, no, that's no, no, like, you know, that's not even a conspiracy theory. That, that's not even a secret anymore, you know. Uh, she said... Yes, the rabbit hole gets deeper, very deep. That's why they keep us in war and emergency state. Well, yeah, because war makes money. Yeah, another big secret they don't tell you is the whole world is in the same status. 
The big secret is we were born in a one world government and had a one world currency this whole time. It has not been a new thing. Apparently, they reduce the older population and erase or change the history by teaching the young a fake history. Oh, yeah. The Mandela effect is not real. Wait, come again? Because that's something that I actually watch, you know, things about, like, I'm not even going to get into it, but it's just something that I do keep my eye on. Um, I, it's them trying to erase our history. They keep us in a state where it's easy to do. So there is a reason why politicians, royals, bankers, actors, singers are all related. The truth of why voting won't matter and why looking in the mirror is where we all will find the help to free us. The real solution is in the answers I have linked below. All those movies and TV shows were telling us to rise up, but no one listened. Us waking up and educating ourselves is why they want us chipped and controlled. I ain't going to chip me. I will warn you to pause and take breaks in procession, pro 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 procession, processing the information. You can go to law libraries and find a lot of the information. Oh, man. It's a lot to process, but not, but no matter what, they have no power over us. God created us and we are never alone. This stinks a lot, but it happened before most of us were born. It's not our fault, but it will be our fault if we let them keep control like other generations. It doesn't have to keep happening. We have to keep saying no. It's so weird how they write it all down and keep records of it all. Right, but yet they keep erasing our history. She said, stay strong, my friends. Remember, you are a child of God and no one owns you. Damn straight, sister. God, I love you. So anyway, all right, I'm going to put these pictures up. Like I said, pause and read. Right on. So here is an email from a community member, and it says, Thursday, April 18th, USA, nine states reported fiber lines cut to 911 trunk system. Mysterious widespread outages are currently occur occurring across the nation, including the whole state of South Dakota, Nebraska, parts of Nevada, Texas, Iowa, Florida, Wisconsin, and Kentucky. It's still going on here in Florida. Yeah. Uh, official report major disruptions in 911 services, preventing emergency calls from getting through. The cause of the outage remains unknown at this time as officials are actively investigating. This situation is still developing as more outages are occurring. And you know what else? Um, the systems here got hacked. So, like, if you wanted to, like, check, like, any of, like, the sheriff's office um, websites, if you wanted to check any, like, the court documents or anything like that, all of that got hacked. You can't check them. Yeah. It's very strange. Okay, so here's a link that was sent to me by a community member, okay, and it's a link to a YouTube video. And when I watched the video, this is my takeaway from it. 
okay? These cargo ships, okay, and even the ones that are smacking into our infrastructure, okay, literally, not figuratively, uh, they have boxes on them inside the cargo ships that are filled with, say, furniture boxes, okay, boxes filled of merchandise of any kind. But in actuality, these boxes are not filled with furniture. They're actually filled with other items like weapons. And what happens is these smugglers will create false walls, false floors, and then they modify these things and all kinds of various aspects. Then they shrink wrap perfectly good solid boxes that contain anything like furniture, food, any kind of merchandise that's like, that's like big, big containers, big, big, uh, big box items, if you will. Okay. And they'll hide DRUGs, weapons, and anything and everything that you could possibly imagine inside these boxes. And this is just one of the many reasons that we have to stay on our toes, especially with these container ships. Because things like this are coming across with the sea, in the sea, okay, with guns and ammo hidden, and no actual staff is actually supposed to be or actual stuff, rather, is, act is supposed to be inside of those boxes, except for what is labeled on those boxes. But these smugglers are literally lining pockets and getting their stuff inside these cargo ships and having this stuff come into our country. So then you have foreign nationals, okay? And they're coming into the United States, and I mean millions of foreign nationals. And this should be a huge, huge concern for all of us right now. So you have to pay close attention um, because what's important is all of this, okay? The fact is when you have these container ships and they're coming into the ports, and things like that. And then what they do is they go from port to port to port to port. And they're going, and these ports are humongous, right? The fact that is 80% of US port terminals are leased, they are operated by foreign companies, okay? How are they catching? any of the illegal items that are not supposed to be on these container ships or stuffed inside furniture boxes or food containers, things like that. Well, what is the number of illegal items that is being caught? Well, Customs and Protection, this people who actually scan and go, scan and go, scan and go, they actually only scan 3.7% of the roughly 11 million containers per year that come into these ports that are all along our coastlines, okay? That also means that only about 1% of the total, or about 104,000 containers, are actually checked at these ports. Similar figures can be found in the EU as well, where only about 1.5% of all the cargo arriving at the EU ships, uh, uh, ports rather, are scanned. They're scanned, they're looked at, and they're said, okay, there's, there's supposed to be furniture in this cargo, so let's actually scan it and look at it and say, okay, you're supposed to have 200 recliners, 100 sofas, and uh, 300 uh, coffee tables. 
So you've got 300 coffee tables, 100 sofas, and uh, 200 recliners. You're good to go. Okay. So that's not actually happening. So you want to know how they're moving people, D-R-U-G-S, weapons around the world with very little of ever being caught. Well, this is how it's actually happening. Okay. The cargo ships are not being scanned. They're not making sure, well, this is supposed to have furniture, but it doesn't actually have furniture. It actually has illegal items on it. Oh, okay, well, this container ship is full of food. It's supposed to go to Sam's Club or BJ's or Costco. Okay, well, guess what? Okay, this is how it's making its way right in to our country. Okay. So I want you to remember all of this. So the next time another cargo ship decides to ram its ugly head into another piece of our infrastructure, it's not by accident. All right. So here's an email from a community member, and she said, someone wrote into the Poplar report with an overheard order from Walmart personnel. One employee was telling the other not to remove out-of-date food because they are going to sell it from now on regardless of the date. Really? In my area last month, I report, is it going to be discounted? Just a question. I mean, even if it's a day at a date, shouldn't they be discounting it? I mean, all is fair in love and war, right? So anyway, I'll go on. She said, in my area last month, I reported to an employee and even showed them that the Kerrygold butter was out of date. I returned a week later and nothing had changed, still out of date. If my memory serves, I was given some song and dance about how vendors do the stocking and not the Walmart employees. It depends on the, on the product. It depends on the product. Yeah. Um... On another occasion, I went to Tractor Supply and noticed their citrus plants for sale were very dry. I told the clerk that they needed watering. I was told that they don't touch the plants. Yes, they do. That's a lie. Yes, they do. She said the vendor will take care of them. The next time I went there, all were beyond death. Quite a waste. Hundreds of dollars worth of citrus and olive trees were gone just because of policy. The vendor was probably from another state. Sometimes I just want to slap people into common sense. Tractor Supply waters their own plants. I don't know what the hell they were talking about. The, 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 it's called laziness. It, oh, honey, babe, you... There must have been no. Yeah. Oh, my God. But, yeah, with Walmart, it depends on the product. Because sometimes the vendor will stock the, their own product. But now I'm curious if it's going to be discounted or not. Huh. Okay, so this article was sent in by a community member, and I'll read a little bit, little bit of it to you, and then I'll put the link in the description box below, okay? And it says, at the end of May... 46 intends to join other nations in supplanting our constitution and the liberties it guarantees with something called global governance. Their plan, which has been stealthily negotiated for several years at the WHO, would permit no informed debate, let alone require the approval of the American people with regard to turning over to Tedros can't pronounce the last name, who is the who's director general, the exclusive responsibility to, to, to decide when we have a public health emergency of international concern and what we must do about it. Why? Who died and gave this, made this guy boss? No. Okay, so here is another uh, article sent in by a community member. Um, and... This is enough to make anybody's skin just crawl. One woman 
miscarried in the lobby restroom of a Texas emergency room as front desk staff refused to check her in. Another woman learned that her fetus had no heartbeat at a Florida hospital the day after a security guard turned her away from the facility. And in North Carolina, a woman gave birth in a car after emergency room couldn't offer her an ultrasound and the baby perished. Complaints that pregnant women are being turned away from emergency rooms spiked in 2022 after the Supreme Court overturned R versus W. You know what that is. Federal documents obtained. Huh. This is terrible. Why are they turning them away? That scares the hell out of me because of my daughter-in-law being pregnant. Do you know that my daughter-in-law right now, the baby is so big that they're going to induce her um, on June 23rd because they can't let her get to 40 weeks because right now the baby's already four pounds. And they said if they let her get to 40 weeks, the baby will be at least 10 pounds. And, they, and because she's so small, she won't be able to push the baby out. Yeah. So this, this actually scares the shit out of me right here. So here's an email from a community member with some pictures. And she said, hi, I love your videos. And I look forward to everyone. Well, thank you. She said, thanks for being there. I'm a subscriber and a daily viewer. I have learned a lot from you and I appreciate you. Well, thank you, sweetheart. She said, I wanted to mention something that isn't new, but it's something that has been on my mind lately. It's the idea of having quarter, uh, coins for barter. I came across this YouTube channel and it appealed to me. The owner's name is Harry and he owns Harry's Coin Shop. The shop is selling barter bags of silver coin. Really? Each bag con contains two troy ounces of barter silver. That's interesting. I like that. The videos are interesting and low key, and there is a lot of general information for people who might possibly be considering having either gold or silver on hand for an SHTF situation. I thought the concept of having a pre-measured amount was a good one. Also, silver is so much more affordable than gold, so it might be a proper item for someone. Yes, definitely, girl. All right, so here's the pictures that she sent in. That's a beautiful idea. Thank you. So here's some inspiration coming at you, coming at you from a community member. She said, well, well, well. <laughs> Another canning day done. I cleared out my frozen tomatoes and a quart bag of shredded zucchini. I made some awesome, delicious marinara sauce. I was out of basil. Oh, you're out of basil for the marinara. She said, but no worries. I had tarragon for substituting waste, not whatnot. I used to, I used what I have, thankfully, 14 pints, three quarts to add to the bounty of canning. I will be making ghee next, so I'm clearing out all that butter I got a year ago, $1.78, $1.89 a pound. Keep on preparing and don't get discouraged. Oh, I love it. Okay, so here are pictures of my pantry because you guys know that my disabled nephew moved in with us. And uh, so we had to move everything out of the pantry and make it into a bedroom for Gavin. And so I wanted to show you what we had to do in the house. And plus, um, Gavin, like I said, has celiacs, so he is on gluten-free, complete gluten-free. So the freezer that is, you know, attached to the fridge, that is all of his food. And then we started a cabinet for him in the kitchen. So he has all of his gluten-free stuff. So take a look at what we did. Okay, so, and I even showed, you know, what Gavin has. Okay, here you go.
And before I go, here is an email from a community member, and it says, drivers beware, three community accidents this week, two hit and runs, please be careful. Dear Lord, <sighs> hit and runs, my God. All right, guys, I'm out of here, okay? I will see you in the next one. You stay safe, you stay positive, you keep pre prepping. And as always, fear less. Ciao.